Hello and welcome to another Truth For Youth. Now in this video I want to speak to you about the subject of prayer and what prayer essentially is. It's important to know because there is nowhere where there's a greater battleground for the Christian than the place of prayer. The world is there to distract you. The devil is there to put doubts and problems before you. And also the flesh is not inclined to pray. Therefore, we must know something about prayer, even experientially. Go and do it. Just go and seek the Lord in prayer. So what exactly is prayer? Well, it is your deliberate communication with one who is worthy of worship. And that is only God. He's the only one worthy of worship. It's the human created soul communicating with its creator, God. And so prayer is a massive privilege for us. And it's where we can go to uh, relay our burdens to the Lord, our cares, our concerns. We can pray by way of intercession where we're praying for someone else. It might be supplication, where we're asking God to help us in a particular personal uh, situation. It may be praise, it may be devotion, where you're going to spend time with God in prayer. But what you're doing is you're talking with God. So studying is different, okay? You could be meditating on a passage, reflecting on a verse of scripture. That could be part of prayer, but prayer is you communicating with God. There's a verse in the Bible I want to leave with you here, and it's Philippians chapter 4, and it says in the verse 6, Philippians 4, 6, be careful for nothing. And what that means is don't be anxious for anything, absolutely nothing. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. That's a tremendous verse to help us on the subject of prayer. So it says, be careful for nothing. Let's think in the coronavirus right now, all the fears and concerns that we have right now. And it's right to have a sensible approach to life. But this verse is talking about being overwhelmed with cares, concerns, and being anxious. Instead of being anxious, the Lord says, pray. And what should we pray about? Everything. So the verse says, but in everything by prayer. That means you pray for everything. If you're walking down the street and you see someone you know, and perhaps there's a difficulty in your relationship with them, you can begin to pray, Lord, help me here to address this person. You might see someone who's not saved. You can, as you walk down the street, pray about it. Ask the Lord to save them. As you are in your uh, home morning and evening, plead with the Lord for all the duties or everything you have to do that day. Maybe you're struggling in school. Maybe you've just started work and things are difficult. Bring everything to the Lord in prayer. As our Heavenly Father, He loves to hear us pray. So, uh, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. That's really important. Always come with thanksgiving in your heart to God and express that in prayer. I want to leave one more verse with you and it's found in the Old Testament. This is a really encouraging verse. And so like I said, prayer is you uh, coming to God and that's exactly what Abraham did in Genesis chapter 18 and the verse 23 and it says there and Abraham drew near and said here's Abraham and he begins to pray and he knew that God was about to come and pour judgment upon Sodom and Gomorrah and so he begins to pray and there's three things here because you have confidence to pray because what Abraham does here, he gets on his knees where before God and he says in verse 25, shall not the judge of all the earth do right? We're coming to a God who always does what is right. All things work together for good to those who know the Lord and love the Lord and are saved and pursuing him. And so we always should end our prayers with those marvelous words, Lord, not that my will, but thine be done. Not my will, but thine be done. Because prayer is not so much us just getting what we want. It is us being aligned with the will and the mind of God. When we get on our knees, we might have burdens. We lay them before the Lord and we let the Lord help us through them and show us and speak to us and direct us. 
So we ought to have confidence when we come to pray, for we have a great God. But furthermore, I want you to see how conversions come through prayer. Abraham here was praying that the Lord would spare Sodom and Gomorrah in case there were some believers there. And what happened in the very next chapter, in chapter 19, the verse 20, it says, And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst. So God remembered Abraham's prayer. And as a result of that, sent Lot out of the city and spared him. There's little encouragement for us there. God can deliver people from his judgment in answer to our prayers. And so that ought to thirdly encourage you to call upon God. We ought to have confidence in him. We ought to know that conversions will come through wrestling with God. And so go and call upon God. Pray for your friends at school. Pray for your family, your neighbours, your teachers at school. If not converted, that God would save them. Pray that the Lord would use you as an instrument. Pray that the Lord would help you if you're not saved. That you would come to Christ and that you would enjoy the benefits of salvation and this great gift that the Bible calls prayer. Thank you for watching.